Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, November 6, 2023. Solutions to the super easy problem 185. This physics is covered in most classes 11 and 12. The good news is there were 29 correct solutions and 19 incorrect solutions. I'm happy with the 29. It shows that indeed this was a very easy problem. Correct means that answers to A and B are both correct. The velocities are only in the vertical direction. This is a one-dimensional problem. Plus is upwards and minus is downwards. Here are the two key equations that I will not read. They are high school equations. The position in y direction of an object that is thrown up with a certain velocity v0. It starts at position y0, which in our case is 0, and here is the result of the, the effect of gravity. And here you see the velocity of that object also as a function of time. And it is given that v0 is 15 0 meters per second. I have chosen g to be 9.80 meters per second square, but I will also give the solution for 10 meters per second square because some of you use 10. But my first solutions are for 9.8. So stone one is at a y position of 11.0 meters at times 1.218 seconds when the stone is on the way up and 1.843 seconds when the stone is on the way down. T prime for stone 2 is T minus 1 because we throw stone 2 one second after we have thrown stone 1. So, y t prime is also at 11.0 meters when pre v prime zero is 17.2 meters per second, but also at 51.1 meters per second. In other words, you have two chances to hit stone one at location y is 11.0 meters. Now, 51 meters per second is about 184 kilometers per hour. People could not throw the second stone that fast. If you use 10 for the gravitational acceleration, then V prime zero is 18.8 .8 meters per second and 41.2 meters per second. Again, you get two options. Question B. So now we throw a stone 1.3 seconds after the first. There is only one solution as we are too late to hit the first stone on its way up when y is 11.0 meters. Now the solution is, it's the only one, that 3 prime zero is 23 meters per second in the case that g is 9.80. If you take g 10, then you find 28 meters per second. Most of you did very well, and I'm happy to know that at least Many of you read my problems, and of course I will continue my problems, even though the next one will be quite a bit harder, because I told you that I need at least 20 correct solutions. 
and I got 29. If I had gotten fewer than 29, or fewer than 20, you would still have been my friends, of course. That's always a given.